and then we can come in here and s where we have session sess id equals we'll put sess id and then that's our session easy as that and then for a cookie what we're going to want to do is set cookie set cookie and then the first parameter is the name of the cookie so we'll do username because our session name is username and then we'll do the value of it so it's username the variable username and then the time it expires so what we're going to do for that is I've already gotten the time it's 2592000 and that is uh, one month uh, in Unix or Unix time I think or seconds one month in seconds basically uh, and we're doing a month just so they're logged in for a long time and then I'm gonna also add plus time so uh, they're gonna be logged in for a month plus okay so from the time now to f for 30 days they'll be logged in I'm not very good at explaining that but yeah so I'm just gonna copy this set cookie and I'm gonna set another cookie sess ID and this uh, value is going to be sess ID and the int expires is going to be the same time so now we're going to echo you have been successfully logged in echo congratulations you've been successfully logged in and I'm going to save that we're going to save that come here come back over here click home and click login and I'm over 15 minutes I might have to cut this up I don't know anyways I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna type in the password I'm gonna click login congratulations you've been logged in now I'm gonna exit my browser and we shouldn't be logged in well actually we are logged in technically because we never uh, I never did that part, but I'll do that in the next tutorial. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the PHP tutorials. This is tutorial number five. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish the login. I know it's pretty much finished, but now we're going to add the logout. And if we can get to it, we're going to start the form, the actual form, creating topics, replying, quotes. We won't be able to do all that today, obviously, but. Uh, I'm hoping to start with the forum. Okay, so what we did in the last one was logging in. So it said, congratulations, you've been logged in. So now we need to check to see if they're logged in before we even let them add user or create the forum for logging in. So we're going to come to our index.php and we're going to, where we have db.php, I think we're going to we're gonna use that for checking to see if they're logged in. Uh, to check to see if they're logged in, we're gonna do if um, session username and the sess ID, uh, and confirm that it's the right session ID. So we're gonna create a new function. This is gonna be called function logged in, and it's gonna take their username, and that's it. So if well first we're going to need to create a query so res equals mysql query select all from users oops select all from users where can't type username equals username so now we're going to do row equals mysql fetch asoc res we're going to do if row password Oops. Well, actually, we're going to do if session username and and session password or sess ID, sorry, and sess ID, and we're going to do else if cookie username and can we do co yeah cookie sess ID. And then, oops. And then finally, in this else, after we try check to see if there's a session username, and after we check to see if there's a cookie username, this is finally says there is no cookie or session. We're going to do echo 
or actually we're going to return false and then we're going to return actually we're not going to return true yet we're going to do if row ses id equals equal session ses id so that means the ses id the ses id's match basically and then we're going to do if Ses ID. That that's perfect. So we're just gonna return true, and we're just gonna copy this if and place it where we have our else if cookie, and we're gonna change session to cookie. So I'm gonna save this, and we're gonna come to index.php, and where we have it echoing or it's saying login and register. These two links. Uh, we're just gonna delete. We're not going to delete them, but we're going to add PHP tags. And we're going to do if logged in session. Oops. Actually, not session. I'm sorry. Hold on. We're going to uh, set stuff up. We're going to do username equals session cookie. And username equals cookie session or <laughs> I messed that up username equals session username and username equals cookie username and what we're doing why we did that was to so when we're doing is login if logged in sorry up here we can just put username and then it'll confirm their login status if you will so if logged in uh, then we're gonna not say the register and login links but then we're gonna have else and in the else we're gonna put them so I'm just gonna copy them and delete them and then paste them in here but I'm also gonna close my PHP tag right here and I'm gonna open it back up right here oh and I'm gonna put this those three spaces after login too. And I'm going to save it and it should work if we're logged in. So we're not logged in, it still shows register and login. So now I'm going to come to login, type in my login and password. I'm not going to click remember me yet. Congratulations, you've logged in. And it is still showing it, so let's see what the problem is. So I'm going to come here and we're going to echo. We're going to come before the return. We're going to echo logged in. I'm also going to copy it in the cookie and do it too. Okay, I'm sorry. I have no idea what I was thinking. But what we're going to do is, I don't know why I decided I wanted to put it in db.php. So we're just going to get rid of this function. And we're going to put it in our class underscore account. So I'm just going to come after login user and I'm going to paste it in here and also we don't really need this parameter username because uh, it's not really needed I'm going to save that and I'm going to come here to our index.php where we have logged in username I'm going to erase the username and do account dash login because now it's in a class so we need to use the object and I'm also going to get rid of these two what you the usernames equal so now I'm going to save this and we're also going to have to change this around too so I'm going to move this these the res and row and I'm going to paste them after the ifs so after so it's going to be in it's going to be basically twice and I'm going to instead of doing username I'm we're going to have to use session username and cookie username so just follow along just like that. And then for a cookie, it's going to copy and paste. And why I'm using a double quote and then a period and then pasting it in because you you really shouldn't use variables when you're using stuff like this, but you can since I had um the magic quotes as you could call them on right now. Um but for especially uh, 
global variables, you shouldn't, so I didn't. So it's just concact, concacting. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But yeah, so now I'm going to save it. And it should echo logged in now. Oh yeah, see right here, logged in. Okay, so now that it works, we can just erase these two echoes. Save this, and still returning true, perfect. And uh, we're going to come back down here, and where we're checking to see if it's logged in, we're just going to copy one of these, and we're going to add a log out. So act equals log in, code equals 3 for log out, and the link will be called log out. I'm also going to have to close my PHP tags again, open them back up right here. And once again, like I said in the other tutorial, I'll be putting source code up uh, every few tutorials, just so you guys can get to it easier and won't have to type in all of this code if you know I change something and you don't want to change it. You'll just be able to get the code. So I'm going to save this, and we're going to look. And perfect, we can log out. Well, I mean, it doesn't log us out yet, but <clears throat> we're going to add that now. So where we have else if code equals 01 and act equals login, we're just going to copy that. I don't know what that was. Copy that. And where we have else if place equal home, we're just going to paste we're just going to paste over that and change code equals 01 to code equals 03. And then we're going to come down here and do else if ho uh, place equals home. Just like that. And then we're going to be typing. We won't really type anything, but we are going to do. Oh, we're also going to need to do if account logged in. And we're going to do code. Oh, not code, I'm sorry. We're going to do account log out. Yeah, log out. Sorry. <clears throat> and then we're going to have an else. So if they're not logged in, we'll just do account error NLI. No, we'll just put account error not logged in. And what this is, account error, is going to be for all account related ish errors. So um, for this one, it'll be not logged in. <clears throat> and then up here, if they're already logged in, we could use error logged in. And then, you know, same for up here. And that just makes it uh, look nicer, so we won't have to just type, you're not logged in, we can just type it up here and just do account error. So I'm going to save this, and the first thing we're going to do is uh, create the logout function. So as you can tell, it's logout. Just tabbing that in. So I'm going to come function log out. And this is very easy. Session destroy cookie or set cookie. And we're going to do string name, so username. And then we can just leave string value blank. And then int expire will be time minus 10. So now it expired 10 seconds ago. And we're also going to do that the same for sess ID just so sess ID is gone. So now I'm going to save that and we're going to test it. So now I'm going to click link. Oh, and also we're going to I just wanted to echo logged out. Echo logged out. Then I'm going to click log out. Logged out. Perfect. Now I'm going to click home. And perfect. Now I can log in again. So now I'm just going to log in one more time and type in the password. Not going to click remember me. And now I'm going to exit the browser and see if it works. And I'm opening up the browser again. Okay, I'm going to go to localhost slash php slash tutorials. What else? And I can register and log in again. So now I'm going to click log in. And this time I'm going to choose remember me. Remember me? Log in. Congratulations, I've been logged in. Now I'm going to close it again, and I shouldn't be able to log... I should already be logged in, I mean. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to go to my local host slash php slash tutorials. And I'm still logged in. Perfect. Now I'm going to click log out and make sure it logs me out. We don't want to be still logged in if we click log out on a cookie, right? Localhost, PHP tutorials. And I'm logged out. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to end the tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we're actually going to start the forum. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I will label these a little differently so you can get to them easier. I'll make sure you know it's log uh, a logging in registering script so you don't have to follow the entire thing to do this. But yeah guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, uh, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. See you guys next time.